Hey everybody, Jillian here. Welcome back to my channel for a new Bible journaling process video. Today I'm going to be doing Day 12 of Illustrated Faith's Gratitude Documented Project. So Day 12 is all about being thankful for His, God's greatness, and I'm going to be journaling in Psalm 145 today. Now I'm using the ring that came from the kit. The kit is sold out, but this is the free printable that's available in the Print and Pray shop that has all of the same prompts with the scripture and some extra word fetty on there. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure Sure to grab it. It's linked below. Now in Psalm 145, the word that is used for greatness means magnificent or majesty. And I thought of a crown. So I went ahead and cut this crown out of a piece of just scrap white cardstock and thought it would be fun, mistake number one, <laughs> to um, to put some gold foil on the crown just to make it shiny and sparkly and, and really regal. So I'm going to spare you from watching that process because it was kind of a nightmare. When I spend time Bible journaling, I'm not worried about perfection or precision. That is just not fun for me. And if it becomes about that, then I'm just going to stop doing it. So I had some gaps from the gold foiling and then decided to fill that in with some gold embossing powder. Since I wasn't able to get an even layer of the Gold, the gold foil onto the crown. Um, the embossing powder was just a way to make the whole thing gold. So I'm using some gold glitter embossing powder here and I'm just going to use my heat tool to help that set and cover the whole piece in gold. So now that that's out of the way, here's a look at my gold crown. I'm going to go ahead and mix some paint colors to make them coordinate with the gratitude documented colors. And that, well, the one thing I love about this printable is it has them all right there. And you can go by those leaves on the bottom and they, um, they're they just to get a, a great color match if you want to mix paints or mediums or whatever. So I wanted to use some darker colors like this darker purplish red to indicate royalty. So I'm mixing an Anita's acrylic paint with um, this brick color from Target. And I'm just going to go ahead and get all of the paint mixed and then figure out what I want to do with my page. So I'm using... Uh, uh, some more Target colors here, bright teal and jade to get the bluish color that's on the sheet there. And then, and then I'll go in a little later with a coral color. So I'm just going to pull out a piece of scrap paper here and see if it's a good match. And it's close enough for what I'm going to do today. Same thing with that reddish purple color. So then I'm just going to go ahead and put that to the side now that that's all ready to go and focus on the rest of my page. So these pieces, these um, scripted words are also included with the Day Spring kit, which is again, unfortunately sold out, but you could very easily spell them out with alphabet stickers that you might have or alphabet stamps or just get creative. Or you could simply use the word Fetty that is included on the free printable. So I've been loving using these rainbow grid labels from the Print and Pray shop. I pulled out a few that I had pre-cut that I thought might go along with this page. I like using them on every entry. It keeps things looking nice and cohesive. So at this point, I think I have a good enough idea of what I want to do to start putting things down. So I'm going to get my Bible mat underneath my Bible page and then reach for a few different sized paintbrushes to get my paint on the page. I'm going to start with this bluish color and just um, dip the brush in some water and then into the paint and then just do some random swipes of this really pretty teal or aqua color on the page going in different directions just to keep it interesting. I don't want to go overboard. I can always add more. Can't take it off, right? So next I'm going to add this reddish purple color. And the Teal paint is still wet. I'm not going to worry about drying it if it mixes. That's totally okay. And I'm just going to, with a smaller sized brush now, put some extra little swipes of paint down. And that's going to be it for the paint at this point. I'll go back at the very end and add a third color in there, but I'm going to hit this with my heat tool to help speed up the drying process. And then I found when I hit it with the heat tool instead of allowing it to air dry, the colors actually deepen and darken a little bit, so that was good. I feel like it's a better match once it's a, a teeny bit darker. So next I'm going to go ahead and start figuring out uh, what exact pieces I want to use. I know that I want to like layer this crown on top of one of the rainbow grid labels and I'm just going to go for it. So using some of the Illustrated Faith Tape Runner to get 
these guys attach to each other and then go ahead and put them on the page. I thought about using some of the Kits washi tape here and I did put it down for a little bit but will end up removing it because it just wasn't really working for me. Instead, to bring in those gratitude documented leaves, I'm going to use those leaf die cuts off to the right and layer them underneath the label. So I think I'm liking how that is looking. I'm going to go ahead and pick them up as they are and then staple them together and then tape them down so that I don't forget about their placement. And then I've been putting down the prompt for each day like on the grid label and uh, wanted to do the same today. So you can see here I'm not loving the yellow quality of that washi tape from the kit, which is no big deal. And then I'm going to go ahead and get some of the word Fetty cut out. I actually forget to put this on my page until after I was done recording and photographing it. So you won't see this on the finished product, but it's there. <laughs> So then I'm going to uh, just outline the verse that I'm journaling, Psalm 145, verses 2 and 3. And then for some reason I drew journaling lines, which I, I don't really do. <laughs> I do my journaling first and then underline it. So anyway, uh, I'll go ahead and read the verses that I'm journaling to you. It says, this is Psalm 145, Psalm of Praise by David. Every day I will praise you and extol your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. His greatness no one can fathom. And his greatness no one can fathom. No one can even begin to understand. Um, so I wrote, only you know the extent of your greatness, but it is a delightful task to discover who you are which is a quote from a Jen Wilkin book that I recently read and loved called None Like Him. And I just wanted to, to get that down here. So I'm gonna top off my journaling with the Studio Calico Mega Date Stamp and then look through these puffy stars from Bella Boulevard. I was looking for like a light pink color, but they didn't have one that I wanted. So instead opted to go with these black stars, which I'm glad I did to bring a little more black to the page. And I really like these um, hand-drawn looking ones, like the open stars. And so I'm gonna put three of them down and then go back to my paint palette. So I'm gonna use this Dina Wakely Mixed Media Tool and put a teeny tiny bit of this um, heavy body paint down on my palette. And then I'm just dipping the silicone tip from this mixed media tool into the heavy body paint and then creating like little art marks. So really I'm only using three colors on this page in addition to the gold and the black, which I think are neutral anyway. I'm using the teal color, this reddish color, and then this coral. So I'm just dipping again the tool into the paint and dabbing it around just to create, to create a little visual triangle there, um, just to kind of move your eye around to create some contrast on top of that teal paint and just have fun. And because it's silicone, it's super easy to clean. So when you're done with it, you can just take a baby wipe or whatever and wipe it off. No having to rinse out brushes or anything like that. So that's going to do it for me. Here's a finished look at my page. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this process video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. I've got more info about this page over on my blog if you want to check it out. Hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and I'll see you soon.